guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Kibana, Plazo, and Elasticsearch on Ubuntu Server 14.04. Um, there are two ways of doing this, the easy way and the hard way, and this is what I would consider quote-unquote harder. The other video I'll show you after this will actually be a script that I created which actually automates this all for you, so obviously a bit easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is apt get update to ensure that I have all the apt packages up to date. And the cool thing with, with this is that you can actually feed your log to timeline dump files that you create in Plazo into Elasticsearch, which you can then visually search via Kibana. So it is really, really awesome if you have multiple case, uh, multiple images involved in a case. So the first thing we need to do is we need to install some additional libraries which then will allow us to add additional repositories. Software. This is where spelling is going to be the death of me. And also I'm going to add the dash y. This way then it won't prompt me to ask me if I want to continue, it'll just do it for me. After that's done, I am going to actually add the APT repository that I need. APT repository. And this is going to be oops, the web up date team and it's going to be Java. And this will install any keys or anything needed uh, to, in order for Ubuntu to access the repository so that when you actually update it will actually look at this repository as well. So then you can do an install based on that repository. So I'm just running update again and all of these commands are in my how-to guide as well, so um, if I'm going a bit too fast, just follow along with the guide. That is what I am doing. <laughs> All right, so we're going to install some more libraries and software. So we're going to do Apache 2. This is going to be our web server, which we're going to use Kibana with. And then the Oracle Java 7 installer. To install these two files. So it's going to pull all these down and the Java installer requires a little bit more interaction as well. Okay, okay. And I'm going to let this I'm going to let this download here so I'm going to pause it now so you guys don't have to see this. Okay, so we've installed Oracle and our Apache web server. So now let's grab Kibana and Elasticsearch. So we're going to wget download There's two directories for Kibana that has confused me many a times. So that's Kibana, that's our web front end for Elasticsearch, and then we're going to actually run Elasticsearch, download Elasticsearch. Again, two directories saying Elasticsearch, this is 1, 3, 2, and this is the Debian install package. Oh. AR. There we go. So now we're just actually going to run uh, dpackage to install the Elasticsearch package once this finishes downloading. I've literally done this video 15 times and it seems that uh, the, my download speed keeps changing each and every time. Okay, so should have paused it. 
unfortunately I should have got, or at least some elevator music for you guys, sorry. Depackage I, and that is going to be Elasticsearch Debian. So it says okay. And you can also see here that it also lets you know that um, this does not by default uh, start on boot up, and it tells you how to do that if you, if you want to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go into our Elasticsearch configuration and we're going to change some options just to kind of um, make it so we can actually access it from the outside but also disable um, dynamic scripts so people can't be running like uh, the API scripts to be deleting your, your stuff which is definitely not good. So first I'm going to get my IP address which is 192.168. 1.150. Obviously, it will change and vary for you. And the configuration when you install the deb package is under Etsy Elasticsearch, Elasticsearch.yml. Oh, I did not install Vim, which I will do right now. Maybe I could have used VI, but I do not believe in VI, so. I will not use it. And this is all again on the how to guide and I also have on the how to guide for Ubuntu 14.0 for how to install VMware tools and also how to add to your Apache a username and password which adds a little bit more security as well. Alright so the first thing we need to do is we need to look for the line network bind host and what we need to do is we actually need to uncomment that out and then we need to change this to be the IP address 1.150 or whatever our IP address was. So network bind host 192.168.1.50 and we need to go to the end of the file which is somewhere down here or you can actually put this anywhere but I like to put it at the end. You want to add the following line script dot Disable dynamic true. Make sure you have spaces where things might start to break. All right, save that. Let's just, let's try this. So, if you want to start your service, so the dev package again installs. You can start Elasticsearch as a service. So that's something you can't do with the other packages. So let me restart it. Okay, and if I'm lucky, if not, I'm gonna have to pause and do some fixing. If I go to the default port that Elasticsearch is listening on, which is 9200, and I go to 192.168.1.50, 9200, and I get some data back. So this is good. This means our Elasticsearch is available and can be queried. But we don't want to do that. We want to um, play with Kibana so we can deal with the web front end so then we don't have to be doing it all via the APIs and things like that. So okay, we have our Kibana. So I'm gonna untar that, ex expand it. And then going to cd into the Kibana directory. Apologies if you can hear that. We live near where we live in London. It's there's always seems to be something happening, which can be a bit frustrating, but also quite exciting at the same time. So what we need to do here is we need to actually change this to be our IP address. So again, obviously you probably don't want this IP address changing very often. So if you can make it static, that would be better. So 192.168.1.150, port 9200. So this is just saying, hey, Kibana, this is where you have to be looking for the Elasticsearch data. All right. Okay, so I'm going to save that. And then I am going to copy everything from the current directory to var www.html. This is the default web directory for Apache. Okay, so now if I do a ls var www.html, 
you see everything is there. I'm going to do an IF config because now I'm paranoid that I put in the wrong IP address. So now, if I go back to here, and instead of giving it 9200, if I just give it a regular, we get our Kaban instance. Excellent. So now what we need to do, obviously, is to do a couple more things in order to be able to get our Plazo up and running. So uh, we actually need to add an additional repository. So, so kind of like how we did with Apache, I mean for uh, Oracle. Uh, we need to add apt repository, and it's going to be sift stable. So this is the sift workstation repository. So we're going to add that. If there's any keys, it's going to add that as well. Okay, so now we just need to do sudo apt get update to, again, make sure that when we do a install, it's checking the sift repositories. <laughs> okay. Oh, not done yet. So after this, what we're going to do is we're actually going to install a couple more libraries, which will allow us to do the um, build and install functionalities within Python. sudo apt git install again with the dash y Python dev and Python plazo. Here we go. We'll let that go. And again, it's saying it, the dash y says just to do it. Don't don't ask me. Okay, I'm gonna gonna pause it for now. Okay, so we now have Plazo running. So we can actually test that. So you see here, this is the output for psort.py. And you can see that the Elasticsearch is not there as an output module yet. So we need to add that. sudo apt-git. We need to install git and Python setup tools. Okay. Cool. So now we need to clone the instance of the Py Elastic Search. So not a good speller. Okay. Actually, let's see. Okay, so it's cloning it. So now I'm going to go into the directory. Python setup.py build. Hopefully, if there's no errors, Python setup.py install. Off it goes. Okay, so if you run that psort, show us the output modules, we see now Elastic. So, one more thing to do is Kristen created a Plazo dashboard for consumption. So let's download it. So this is, is the uppercase O says to put it in this specific directory. HTML dashboard 
Sketch.json. Okay. And Plaza. The lack of copy paste is annoying. Get extra plazo cabana example dot JSON. And of course you can modify this JSON to um, whatever parameters you would like. Let's see if this works. Bam. Okay. So let me see if that worked. So if you go back to your Kibana instance and if you spelled everything right, just change this. So this is a Plaza dashboard. Now if I had logged a timeline data in there, you would actually start to see some output. So again, if you would like to add a username and password to your Apache web server instance that is in the how-to guide, as well as installing VMware tools. Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and thanks a lot for listening.